Um, so it being Eat lunch. for us. What do you? Job done every day. What are you eating too? What tricks. Um. every so often what do you get to eat do you get uh, to have some of your favorite foods tell us about what you have and uh how often from students at oakland mills middle school which i think is uh tell us a little bit about what you're seeing up there how beautiful are the galaxies and what are the colors like horizon amazing uh, several students have asked the question about your free time some scientific experiments samantha could you tell us more about this and explain the importance of these tests? Terry, another goal of this mission was to prepare the station for the arrival of future private spaceships. For NASA, it will mean once again having direct access to space. How will Samantha, according to a recent survey based on research on Internet, you are the most popular Italian woman in the world. I had Monica Bellucci and La... Okay, just a quick question sent in by our social media followers. In around two months, you will come back to Earth. What did you guys miss the most during your stay in space? Okay, to finish, I would like to ask how you remember on the station actor Leonard Nimoy and was your interest in space inspired by Star Trek and Mr. Spoke, just like so many people? Uh, what can I have to ask? But like, uh, I had an obligation to, to honor uh, Leonard Nimoy when he passed away recently. Thank you very much for having been with us. Enjoy the rest of your mission. And just as Mr. Spock would have said, live long and prosper. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And hello to all the folks down there in Europe. So I'm curious to hear about what kind of technology you guys are working on that's going to help us travel to Mars. Um, beyond, of course, all the communication technology that we're working on to be able to connect with you guys, uh, Earth, uh, no matter where the destination is. All right, so let's take some questions from the thread. And by the way, it's awesome to see the microphone just flying around over there. Um, that is not something that I'm used to, even in our virtual reality lab, where we can make stuff like that. We just haven't yet. Um, so let's go to the thread. So we got a question from Hakim, um, which is obviously astronauts train extensively for this kind of a mission. But is there anything in particular that you weren't expecting or that surprised you? Like the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, a which, by the way, is the first live that we've ever done to outer space. So that, that is awesome. Um, you know, normally at Facebook, sometimes we run a few minutes early or a few minutes late. And I know our team asked um, ground control, mission control, um, you know, if it was cool if we started. Very impressive. So in addition to being top scientists and in great shape and very precise operationally, you also need to be linguists. So, so let's go to another question on, on the thread, which is a little more fun, is do food and drinks taste differently in space?
Um, most estimates of behavioral say that their taste change a little bit. Um, I think it has to do mostly with uh, the uh, food shift because the not um, uh, down. Um, so that's another result in the stuff. So maybe our taste um, are tainted a little bit. Uh, so most of us like to have spicier food up here. Um, uh, the food can taste a little bland, so we'll, we'll spice it a little bit on our own. Um, so I would say food does taste a little bit. We, by the way, have a wide variety of food on board uh, from all different countries, uh, from harder countries, from different countries. So the food up here is very, very good. And that's not ice cream, really. We are at the ice cream buying store. The stuff. Yeah, that's not real. But we got to see my board when SpaceX came up. They literally don't like ice cream in the freezer. They're saying, "Why do you think we're going to have to ask you more about ice cream?" I'm going to say, "We're going to have to ask you more about ice cream." I'm going to say, "We're going to have to ask you more about ice cream." I'm going to say, "We're going to have to ask you more about ice cream." I'm going to say, "We're going to have to ask you more <laughs> there you go. That's what I was looking for. All right. So going back to a, a, a science question for a bit, um, thank you guys for doing that, by the way. I think it would not have a question. And you know, Facebook being a technology company, what I'm really interested in is you know, how, how all this works, right, scientifically and technologically. So I'm really curious to hear, what is your, your favorite or what do you find to be the most interesting uh, piece of technology involved in getting to space and operating the space station and, and all? All right, well, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys. This has been an incredible experience. Don't be fooled by